Hey, my name is Noah Maiman. I'm a filmmaker, documentary filmmaker and an actress. Welcome to the toolkit for the fresh rape victim. <laughs> when I was five, I was sexually abused by someone who worked in our house. Um, it lasted a few months. This is Emma. Emma? Say hi. Please say hi. If you just went through rape now, let's go check yourself. If it's not checked right after, there is almost no way to prove, and I really want us to change that. Society doesn't like talking about the subject, which in turn leaves us really, really lonely, and we end up needing to deal with it ourselves, to carry it ourselves, we don't share, and eventually it kills us, and that's what I want us to stop doing. Speak to someone professional first, like call a hotline, get the first support before you go on to talk to the closest people to you. If you do talk to your closest people, I really hope for you that it would be from the great kind that would support you and love you and not question you for a second. Usually your friends and family, the close people to us, they're the one after us that are struggling with it the most, hence they're really trying to believe it didn't happen. And that can be so painful for us. Some of us don't remember a lot, and some of us remember every little detail. If you're now in denial and it's comfortable, stay there. Honestly, don't push yourself. When it comes, it comes, and it comes when we need to deal with that. Why did it take her 15 years to complain? Why did she wait 10 years until he spoke about it? You know what? Because usually we don't even remember it or cannot even cope with that before that, so it takes us time, motherfuckers. Rape is a chronic condition and as a chronic condition it affects all walks of life. I don't think any girl or woman likes to go to a gynecologist but for women like us going to a gynecologist is quite an horrific experience. I will definitely recommend find a gynecologist that's been trained in dealing with people like us. I hate to be tested but unfortunately I have to say that I've done it in a lot of my relationships and those tests can be quite tiring from the person in front of us especially if he doesn't know the reason for them and he doesn't understand the dynamics that the psychological background that leads us. How much does your partner wants, needs and able to contain what you went through and how much you're willing to put it into your relationship and bring this awful experience into this beautiful, intimate thing you're trying to create. Even those of us who are lucky to get love and support, we still have this immense loneliness engraved within ourselves. We're so used to this sense of loneliness that if in any time someone shows up and seems to understand, we tend to be a tiny bit needy. Hence, we need you to give us boundaries, but we need you to do it full of love. Don't pressure us to talk about that if we're not ready. But make sure behind any reasonable doubt that we know that you're there and you're willing to listen and you're happy to listen. What man can do is give us love, is give us support, is help us seek for our justice in legal ways. And it's take an oath that you'd never ever in no circumstances would put a woman in a similar situation.